hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl yeti here with a new video for you guys so this video is a life update okay and um i've done one before on my channel which was like beginning of this year and then now i'm doing one at the end of the year and i feel like it's a really good time to do like a life update to talk about this year and all apart from what has happened this year i'm also going to be sharing some of my plans going forward um i'm sharing this with you guys one because um, I love to carry my audience along. I consider you guys as a part of my life. Um, that's one reason. Secondly, because I feel like when you share something or put it out there, the universe has some kind of way to make you ready for it, ready for the opportunities to come. Um, three, I'm sharing this so that when those aunties and uncles come and ask and say, hey, what's next? I'm going to forward this video to you. Well, yeah, that's, that's kidding. But like, that's one of the reasons I just want to share. I just really want to talk, um, let you guys know what's happening, what is going to happen, what has happened too. So yeah, so that's my reason for sharing this video. So keep on watching. So if you guys have been, you know, following me, um, for a while, you know that I just finished school. Um, I just finished five years in Covenant University studying chemical engineering. And your girl is like, done, okay? Um, I haven't done my graduation yet. Um, as of now, I don't have a date for it. Okay, um, I'm not really interested in it too. But um, yeah, so that's the only thing left, like the whole graduation ceremony and all. But uh, things regarding like projects and then exams, your girl is done and ready for the outside world 100 percent so that has to be like one of the major things that happened to me this year um finishing school um despite like the whole lockdown what covid did to nigeria as a whole um it was nice finishing school and honestly it was crazy because at some point during lockdown um i didn't know what my school was doing we're all just confused like we the students don't know what's up and it was just sad because you know i really expected my school to thrive during the pandemic but um i got the opposite of that but um nevertheless i resumed in september um to finish up did my exams and november like october november i wrote my final papers and then i finished school complete so your girl is done and i've seen my final result and um i finished with a 2-1 in chemical engineering guys I'm, I'm like i'm so happy because it was a really really crazy journey like i started content creation in my second year and my second year is like was crazy it was crazy for me and um third year too i continued fourth year i continued and my final year i added youtube to my platforms i started doing social media management so it wasn't easy trying to like keep my grades up and i'm super excited because i still finished with a really 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 good grade um it can only be god <laughs> it can only be support for my family and my friends and also um hard work so i'm very very grateful that you know i'm here i'm, I'm honestly extremely grateful that i'm actually done <laughs> So I asked on my story what um, you guys think I'm going to use my degree for. Am I going to get a job? Am I going to just, you know, hang it? And to my surprise, a lot of people said that I was going to hang it. And I'm like, wow, you guys, you guys, you guys really think I have the lever for that? Just three away five years and all. Uh, well, so the question is, what does Yechi want to use her degree for? Um, currently, as of now, they are watching this video i do not know okay and um i'm not putting myself under any pressure like direct pressure to figure out exactly what i want to do um one of the reasons is because i'm young okay um i do believe that i have some time to make um career decisions and i don't want to rush into anything and be like oh no i'm not using my degree and just toss it and start to just do content creation full time um no i've I don't want to. Um, two, I believe I can have the best of both worlds. I believe that I can practice and I can still be a content creator. Um, it's just about understanding times and seasons and also balancing things out. So um, currently, I'm not stressing out myself to say, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I have a 30-year plan and this and that. No, guys, like um, 2020 has shown that you can plan, but things can happen and things will happen okay so as much as that plan is strong and planning is so essential um one thing that i'm 
trying to do and i'm going to be doing more of going forward is just seizing opportunities so understanding seasons that i'm going to be in okay and uh, what i can do best like currently this season i'm in is really not the time for me to be chasing like having a nine to five and all in this season i want to focus more on content creation focus more on my youtube here and just try to grow and thrive work with more brands expand of my audience these are things i want to do for this period of my life so i'm um, going forward into other years i can now decide to maybe do a master's in engineering and go forward with engineering that way but content creation will always be my passion it's not something that is negotiable it's not something i'm going to drop anytime in my life you know i would always be um a content creator yes my type of content my they might evolve in my shift over the years but I would still be a content creator either ways so that is it for me so i'm honestly not under any pressure to have everything figured out okay and um, if you are a college student watching this and um, you have this pressure to have everything figured out once you're out um please 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 take it off um just learn to seize opportunities and always go for what you love okay what you love can change you might wake up the following morning and you don't love that thing anymore so okay um you're young okay try to do as much as you can okay and um as you grow older you start to narrow down your options and then have a more direct path but i'm not gonna encourage you to put yourself under any pressure to have everything figured out like breathe have fun okay do it <laughs> so going into 2021 um one field that i want to like venture into would be media and pr i have been eyeing media and pr since the beginning of lockdown and learning more about it so that's one career path that i'm looking at or another course of study so currently i'm looking for courses online in media and pr that i can you know take courses write exams and then like get certified so I have searched online guys like i have searched online and i'm seeing some crazy prices like over a thousand dollars and i really don't have that money as of now so if you guys know any um university i actually prefer university or a really good um online platform where i can do a paid course in media and pr and also digital marketing and get a certificate um i already have one certificate um which is from google um Google Digital Skills for Africa, a digital marketing certificate. So I'm looking to acquire more. Um, I'm honestly hoping to get one from a university because I heard that certificates from them like have more weeks because it's like a school, school proper. So that's what I want to do currently. So um, I'm looking to do that in 2021 um, as I work. So it's going to be something that I'll be doing on the side, like as I'm working, like, you know, content creation ish. Yeah. So that's what i'm looking at doing um 2021 so media and pr you can see i'm still trying to explore my options and invest in things that i'm interested in okay and build my knowledge on various aspects instead of trying to just go into something full-time i don't know i'm not i'm not there yet to just say i want to dive into this with my full chest and uh, no, i think for this season i still want to grow expand see how far each can go before you know i start to like narrow down so another aspect will be moving okay so moving 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 well for now i am still in ibadan um with my parents um yeah so that is the now okay but going forward into the new year i do want to move to lagos um but that will be for like my nyc and though i don't plan on serving in ibadan here i actually do want to move to lagos i'm um, lagos because honestly if i want to work in media and pr if i also want to do content creation i think that's kind of like the best place to be honestly so i'm moving because of like the career path i want to chase i mean the brands are in lagos the companies are in lagos the opportunities are more in lagos so honestly i'm looking to move into lagos i know the stress will be a lot but um we can do it can't we here yeah. it's something that can be done and something that can be handled um so yeah fingers crossed 2021 yechi is moving to lagos Woo! 
if you're happy like just let me know in the comment section <laughs> another aspect would be my business so um if you don't know i have a business that is the student planner which is i create planners for students yeah so we've launched for two academic sessions okay and the plan was to launch going into 20 21. I had a business partner that was supposed to do this week so both of us were supposed to come together and then create like new planners create new products to to launch in 2021 but because of COVID because of school I mean I was supposed to be done with school in like July August according to our academic calendar and then I ended up finishing like mid November yeah so there was a lot of setback from school so that's is no longer feasible it's no longer possible so going into 2021 we just want to re-strategize plan and then hope to launch during the year or 2022 yeah so that's it for the business but whenever we come back just know that it's going to be the bomb Dot com is gonna be really really good so you guys keep your cards keep your coins and get ready to shop some of the best planners you've ever seen so one more thing going into 2021 will be starting a podcast i know you guys are thinking that this year she just wants to be on all the platforms but yes i do want to start a podcast it's going to be different from my regular content on all my other platforms my blog my instagram my youtube here so it's going to be something different so i'm honestly looking at starting a podcast i don't have a set date for it um i want to move first before starting the podcast because of the nature of the podcast so when i move and i'm setting in lagos and i can now look into starting a podcast but currently i'm learning some things about you know having a podcast creating um audio for like the podcast things like that i'm currently learning about it so when i start um there's quality in it and i actually know what i'm doing so i'm still trying to structure it but you guys should just keep your fingers crossed so when i announce it's not like where is this gear coming from? Where is this coming from? How? Why? You guys already know that on 2021, I should have my own podcast. Okay? So, like I said earlier, fingers crossed. So, going forward into this crossroad, I'm kind of scared, okay? But, like, I'm also excited. But, like, my excitement is more than my fear. So, uh, there are a lot of things I'm worried about. Like, okay, working, um, getting a job having to go having to go to the office even doing content creation full-time because you guys know that the pay from content creation is not stable in a month you might make a lot and then you feel like young rich nick and then the next month you're like broke like there's nothing coming in so um just that shakiness is um something i'm afraid of. i'm also afraid of getting to that point where you have to sell independence where you know you tell your parents oh this happened and they just tell you sorry like there's nothing like oh let me send you money for it quickly fix it and also that's one thing i was kind of like afraid of um but i'm more excited i'm excited to try out new things i'm excited to explore different sides of yechi um because of the nature of the school that i was in i did feel like i was caged okay so i did feel like um i did not exactly reach my peak like potential but coming out now i'm really open to trying a lot of things just exploring basically i just want to try a lot of things 2021 so you guys might see a different side of me, you might see other sides of me, but um, it's all part of growth. It's all part of, you know, becoming something more and um, letting my brand and my person, me as a person evolve. Um, yeah, so that is it for like a life update plus a journey into 2021 talk. So if you guys are willing to share, let me know your plans going forward into the new year. Um, let me know one thing that was a win-win like your top moment for you in 2020 um and let's just you know discuss okay i hope to be here more on youtube 2021 because i mean youtube is like i'm trying to make youtube like my top content platform not even instagram really instagram is cool yeah but uh now that i'm starting to get the pay from youtube youtube is cuter <laughs> i'm not gonna lie youtube is cute so i'm um, definitely gonna see me more here on youtube okay so guys that is it for like a life update and a talk with yechi thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video